Dear viewers, welcome back to the analysis of Yolendo TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So yesterday, for those people who, went, who, who watched our last video, when we talked about the reaction of uh, Gachagua towards the reception that Raila Malolinga was given in Eldoret. To those people who watched that video, you realize that one of the reasons why we gave uh, as a reason why Gachagua was that mad was because of the reception of Raila Molodinga in Eldoret. It was pretty overwhelming. And one would wonder why, why Gachagua um, had, was that bitter. But the truth of the matter was that the reception there was pretty magnificent. So, there is something, uh, latest news here, and, and I think this is also going to make Gachagua mad, and mad completely. There is something that, new information that we have, of course I know there are some people who probably could have already heard about this, about uh, 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 Raila and Kuhn's uh, second meeting, you know, within the span of uh, seven days. But the only funny thing this time around, it was that the meeting took place at the time when Kunz was leaving for the US and Raila was also leaving for UK. And to support the statement, this is what Raila Morodinga said. Our paths crossed again last night with my friend Senator Chris Kunz heading home to the US. While I left for the UK, wished each other safe flights, hoping to see each other again. Always a pleasure, Chris. And Raila Molodinga shared a photo of him and Chris Kunz, smiling. And let me tell you something, pictures don't lie. Of course you know that. If you look at that picture very well, then uh, the smiles, you know, these people, two gentlemen, were happy. Means there is something that is going on. There is something that is being hatched behind the scene. I know it's not about handshake, but I know it is something good for the Azimio family. This picture, the picture that was taken yesterday, and a picture that was taken six weeks, six days ago when Raila first met Kunz after this when he when he first came to the country. When he came to the country, I think that was the he came on Saturday, on Sunday they met. So that's Sunday. If you look at what Kunz wore that time, you know. You look at what he has chosen to wear to wear right now again. They are the same attire. If you look at what Chris Kunz wore yesterday, was pretty different from what he has wore today in, in this picture of him and Raila. There is a common notion that pictures don't lie. There are so many, way, so many ways of sending a message. Probably this fact that Chris Kunz chose to wear this attire again Maybe could be selling Raila Molodinga that my position is the same. What we discussed, bado niko pale pale, sija flip flop, sija fanya fanya hivi, niko pale pale. Chris Kunz and Raila are friends. In fact, the person who doesn't like Chris Kunz, two people. Maybe there are so many, but I don't think Raila Ruto, I don't think Ruto likes Chris, Chris Kunz. I don't think Gachagua loves Chris Kunz. He doesn't. In fact, to be honest, the second reason why Gachago was mad yesterday, you know, the first reason we gave in that video, we so talked about the Eldoret love being one of the reasons why he chose to destroy Raila Molodinga, not knowing that he was building him again, you know. The love that he saw that was uh, uh, shown Raila Molodinga there is the one reason why Gachagua was pretty mad. And this picture, you know, this picture, and since pictures don't lie, this picture is already sending mixed signal on uh, Gachagua's camp. There is something I just came, it's just dawned on me, that what if yesterday, the second reason why Gachagua was mad was because of that meeting between Kunz and Ruto, of course, uh, Alfred Mtuo was there, 
Meg Whitman was there, uh, the former governor Turkana was there, Nanok. You know, what if that meeting is the reason why he was mad? Because that could also be a reason why he was mad. Just l l let, me, let, me, let me defend my point. I want to defend my point here. First, Ruto was to meet Kunz on Monday. They didn't meet. They didn't meet on Tuesday. They didn't meet on Wednesday, Thursday. Ask yourself why they chose to meet on Friday. And the same Friday is the day where Gachago was expected to go and, to and provide his submission at the devolution conference and uh, maybe a, a Fungeo conference here. Ask yourself, why is it that Ruto chose Friday? Simple. I will explain why I think he chose. That is just my opinion. I don't think it, it might be true or it might not be true. But I think he chose Friday to avoid Gachagua. Presence in that meeting. Because, see, security kila mali kwa state house. Uku kona, kule spy kila mali. Then how comes he didn't know about this meeting? That means, wale kithile kona meka eka, then maybe kuna mali panatopa metoboka. How comes? I think he didn't know about this meeting. And the moment he learned about the meeting, probably those spies now decided to tell him, ah, unajua raisa na kutana na kuns leo. Eh, na meamua uwe ende kule na ende na kutana na kuns leo. Because, the expectations was that Gachagua was supposed to be in that meeting with Kunz, Ruto, Whiteman, and the and Nanok. So Gachagua must be mad. Could have been mad because of that meeting also. But let's just not talk much about that because we, del we delve about most of the, the, the details in the previous video. Let's speculate about this meeting between Raila and Kunz. Why did they choose to leave? On the same date, the same time. Why did they choose to leave after Kunz had met Ruto? Probably one of the reasons was that Kunz was to, to give Raila Molodinga a response. Because mind you, all these details, the details of this meeting have been cagey. Nobody knows about the full details of this meeting. They only see the two people meeting, people meeting here. They were meeting there, they met again. But the details of these meetings so far Sidani kama kuna mtu anajua but i think what if cuz you remember in 2017 soon after ruto soon after uru and raila met through kunz and a handshake was arched raila got a u infrastructure job very senior position whereby he used to advise the heads of states what if there is something of that kind happening behind the scene. A UN kind of arrangement. You know, what if that is the case? And why is Raila choosing to go to the UK? You know, Kenya was colonized by the British. So, could be he's choosing to go to the UK with a strong reason. What if he's being called there by the government of UK? There are so many questions that I know as a mere people when I do So many questions. Many questions to a level where by now, right now, what they need are answers. But here, here in your here at Yoleno, we promise to still gather these details for you. I will follow up on this matter between Raila and, and, and Kunz because I think there is something happening. Maybe once they have uh, uh, they have reached their destinations, there is going to be something out of that. We will go further and dig deep into these meetings because I think there is something behind the scenes. It can't be possible that they meet Kunz and, and, and Ruto meet in the morning. Gioni, Usiku on a travel, Raila and, and Kunz then on a travel. And then it's not possible that uh, the, the, the booking was were done almost the same time. The only possibility here is that there is something being done behind the scenes and Kenyans don't know. And that which is being done behind the scene is something that Gachago is not happy about. He wants to finish Raila Molodinga by in fact enrolling Raila Molodinga in the Kwaile program in Wazea Elf Bilimbili. He said that. Not my words. He said it. Yeah. That is just. But to me, I just termed that as a belittling move. Move that is meant to make Raila Molodinga appear as if him to useless. But we know he's a very senior person. Because otherwise, Kun Sange Kutana, eh? Kun Sange Kutana, na opposition. What wako? What wakatika? What wakatika? What wakatika? What wakatika? What wakatika? What wakatika? Sana sana kwa zile inchi. Lakini, ame choose kukutana na huyu. That means kuna kitu. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
go down to the comment section and tell us what you think about this meeting between Kunz and Raila. What do you think about it? Tell us below the comment section. I would also like to kindly request anybody who has not subscribed to this channel to consider subscribing to Yolendo TV and give this video a like. And to those who have supported our, our channel, I am forever grateful to you for your support. Without you, this channel would not have grown. So ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.